hello and good morning and welcome back to another Simply Gregster EV review. Uh, today we have a Tesla Model 3 standard range, LFP. It is a 2022, 86,000 kilometers on it, so nice and, uh, and uh, broken in. Um, as you can see, the weather is not the greatest behind us. It's about minus two, minus three. Snowing, freezing rain, typical kind of Canadian weather. Maybe a bit mild for January. Anyways, um, the question I get asked a lot is, can you use an EV in the winter time? Do, do EVs work in the winter? Uh, and this is the reason why I chose the st a standard range Model 3, very base spec, is that this is basically the refrigerator of EVs. These cars are very popular here. They're very affordable here. And they're pretty much everywhere, especially where um, I live here in Quebec. They're absolutely everywhere. So hopefully today what we're gonna find out is, do they work in this sort of weather? Can you get decent range out of them? Not the coldest I would like. I was kind of expecting, to be honest with you, about minus 10, minus 15. It's above average temperatures here, but we have the car this weekend, so we have to work with what we have. I think that's becoming the theme of this channel is we have to work with what we have. So yeah, again, um, Model 3 standard range, 86,000 kilometers. LFP pack. It's about 97% state of charge. I don't live too far from here. It went up to 100%. I had the heating running. So I want to simulate this as being if you left your house unplugged, stopped for coffee, and then continued on your way. An accurate representation of quote, winter conditions. It's showing 97% state of charge. We actually left home, I think 99, as I mentioned, I had the heater running while still plugged in. Um, 408 kilometers of range. I don't think we're going to get that. I think we'll probably get around 300 kilometers of range out of this car. As I said, standard range LFP pack, uh, I believe 60 kilowatt hours, about maybe 57 usable, something around there. Tesla doesn't really publish with numbers, but I checked with uh, Tessie, the uh, Tessie app, and it's showing actually um, about 5% degradation, which makes sense. This car was mostly supercharged it, its entire life. So, tire pressures are good. As again, 86,000 kilometers on, on this car. This is a Fremont built car, actually. Sorry, we'll get that back. This is actually a Fremont built car, not a, not a Shanghai car. So, I don't know if you noticed, but there was that Saab, I guess that's a Saab trailblazer that was blocking the circuit electric charger and it's kind of the only one in this area so that's kind of annoying we will get on the highway here so i'm not too sure what we're going to do i know i mentioned we might have stayed in quebec head out to ontario down the 401 i did reset the trip meter so we'll see what what we get found some winter weather the roads are quite snowy it's still coming down decently well the uh, snow freezing rain snow and sleet I will just say um, we are so far 47 kilometers of distance traveled we've used 9 kilowatts of energy averaging 196 watt hours per kilometer a uh, bit of a change of plans we're gonna go actually we're gonna go up north into the mountains if we don't have nice weather in the city, we will go find the nice weather. We have a perfectly capable automobile. We're going to head further north. We're just on Highway 40 right now, somewhere out by St. Lazar, Hudson area, just to the west of Montreal. We'll pop into Ontario. We'll cross the bridge over in Hawkesbury. We'll go 
up either through Montebello area, up, up into the mountains, or uh, go, go through La Chute on, on Highway 50. Either way, we're going to head up in, into the mountains, and this is what I should have done from the start. But it's not too big of a deal, whereas we're still out driving the car, having fun. Heating's on, 21 degrees in here. The seat heaters are on, heated steering wheel. Lovely panoramic view out the windscreen. I absolutely love driving these cars. People rag on Teslas constantly about being boring. No, absolutely not. As I said before, this is probably one of my favorite cars and probably one of the best cars I've driven. I just absolutely love driving Teslas. They are so much fun to uh, drive. You really have to go and try one if you haven't. Go and rent one, ask your friend, beg, borrow, don't steal, but go and drive one. You will have an absolute blast driving it. Every We've just made it back into Quebec. We're in Grenville, Quebec. So far, the car has been good, no issues. Uh, I have had to enable a slip start because that's the only way it gets around. That's the only downside with the rear wheel drive model is that any sort of wheel spin or snow or obstruction on the ground, such as the snow, um, the, uh, it absolutely kills all, all acceleration, all throttle control so slip start is on the conditions aren't the greatest out here i don't think it's getting worse but i don't think it's getting any better so we're going to continue driving we're about 65 percent state of charge now 285 kilometers of uh, range but yeah so far the car's good i haven't had any issues you do have to be a bit um on your toes to say thinking ahead of, of what's coming up and how the car's going to react to it but uh, so far so good with the uh, rear wheel drive uh, you just have to really adjust your uh, your driving style and and that's it but the car even in slip start it will let you slide out a bit and then it regains control by itself it, it puts you straight it's really more just to get you going and, and to keep you going but yeah uh, no issues with the car everything is good out here uh, it's absolutely packed with snow in the um, wheel wells but no we're actually enjoying this there's not a lot of traffic on the uh, roads except for snow plows and uh, hurt feeling drivers of uh, pickup trucks yeah those are fast, but what all we encountered so we'll continue going to Mont Tremblant I guess that's the goal we're gonna get to Mont Tremblant Normally this wouldn't be the way I'd be going up to uh, Mont Tremblant or up into the Laurentians. Normally I would take um, Highway 13 to the 640 to the 15. But um, as I said, the original plan was to go down the 401, but then I remembered, hey, let's go up into the mountains. That's where we're going to find the snow and the weather. So if you've made it this far in the video, why don't you consider liking and, and subscribing? I see a lot of people are watching the videos, but not a lot of people are subscribing so maybe just click that subscribe button or leave a comment to ask what you would like to see or what changes that that we that we could make on the channel I'd like to hear feedback from EV owners or just casual viewers so if you can do that I would I would really appreciate it I'm trying to grow this channel the cars aren't hard to find 
Um, a lot of the channel I'm funding out of my own personal pocket as a hobby. I enjoy making these videos for you and I'd like to see the channel grow and maybe find some success in this. So just keep that in mind. northbound it's about 80 kilometers to a Montreal Blanc now properly wintry up here nice snow covered roads but what's nice up here is that they sand the roads when they plow them the snow is not extremely deep here but there is a nice maybe two or three centimeter layer but uh, roads freshly plowed or plowed recently they're nice and sanded they don't use salt up here because it gets too cold sometimes uh, no issues with the car this is we're going up into the mountains now. This is complete going up into the mountains. There's going to be a lot of elevation gain here. Yeah, no issues with the car. I just passed a, a Dodge Ram that had uh, difficulty getting up the hill. I don't know what his deal was, but uh, I, I had no issues getting up. We're, we're not even in any sort of um, slip start mode. We're just here, standard mode, standard steering. Exactly as, as anyone else would drive it. Heating's on at uh, 21 degrees Celsius. Heated seat, heated steering wheel. It's absolutely great up here. 51% state of charge. It's showing 212 kilometers remaining. On the trip, it's actually showing uh, distance traveled 133 kilometers. We've used 27 kilowatt hours. We're averaging 203 watt hours per, per kilometer. Like I said, quite high, but given the weather, I would say that's pretty fair. That's pretty fair, that's, pre that's pretty normal. So we're gonna continue here. One thing I have noticed is in the elevation changes going up hills, towards the crest of the hill is when the traction control light will start coming on even about 60, 70 kilometers an hour. So what I've been doing is I've been gaining speed on the downhill section or building a run up to the hill to keep that momentum pushing the car forward. So you don't arrive in a situation where you start getting halfway up the hill or three quarters toward and towards the peak and you start running out of steam and then you might come to a stop or have to get going again. But uh, that's with no slip start or anything like that. But that's, if you've ever driven an old rear wheel drive pickup truck in this kind of weather, you know exactly what I'm talking about where you have to build the momentum coming up to the uh, snow covered hill. But uh, no, no real issues. This is where all wheel drive will have a giant advantage, but I don't feel like I'm at a huge disadvantage if you just adjust your driving style and you know what to do in situations like this. But uh, so yeah, so far, no issues. What I absolutely love about these Model 3s is that they just drive so nice and they handle so nice. We're in this winter storm today, and because the center of gravity is so low in these cars, there's no sensation of the car wanting to slide out from you. There's no sensation that you're gonna lose control of the car at, at any moment. We're not on the best winter tires. If this was my personal car, I'd be on a better winter tire, such as a, um, a, a Nokian Hakapalita. I have those tires on my cars, and it's what we sell to clients. And we all know that they're already good. This is not an endorsement, but if this was my car, I would have that. But no, even on these uh, Falcons, it's absolutely no issues. The speed limit here normally, I think, is uh, 70. That's what we're doing now. Car feels absolutely planted and solid. No issues, no complaints. Uh, not worried, not white knuckle driving. No, it's absolutely a, a joy to... Uh, 40 kilometers from Mont Tremblant. The weather actually has gone a bit worse. The wind has picked up, the temperature has dropped. We're at minus six, actually it just went minus seven. Uh, we are averaging 206 watt hours per kilometer right now. Uh, as I said, conditions uh, on the roads aren't great. There's a lot of elevation change here. So far we've traveled 153 kilometers. We've burned 32 kilowatts of battery, 42% state of charge. The car, stay, car is saying we still have 176 kilometers of range, which I don't believe. We all know Teslas are a bit overly optimistic. Uh, one thing I have noticed is, is that it's much the same 
uh, scenario as the as my mini electric in deep snow like this it's a good idea to turn off the uh, the regen I stopped and I put it into roll so you have uh, where it will it, it will coast like a regular car like a gas car the reason is I don't like the regen feeling in deep snow or in snow period it, I, I find it unsettles the rear of the car it just has this strange it just has this strange th feeling coming th through the car that I'm not a giant fan of uh, I much rather have it in roll and control the uh, brakes myself versus having the uh, regen like I said it's really hard to explain you have to experience it to kind of understand what I'm talking about if you already own an EV you probably already know what I am talking about uh, I, it's just a feeling I don't like it just feels like it unsettles the uh, car a bit and just gets a bit light in the steering I'm I'm not I'm not a big fan of it so that's just something I, I thought I, I would point out is that in these sort of conditions just to back off the uh, brake regen would uh, be my suggestion driving in uh, winter storms so yeah hopefully we'll uh, get to Tremblant soon and we'll uh, make the run back for home the run back for home we're going to take highway 15 into the city um, you know, maybe we'll stop at the supercharger in uh, Boisbriand. That's my goal, uh, just to stop at that supercharger if it's not too busy. But maybe we'll have enough battery to uh, get back home. I'd like to have enough battery to get back home, but I don't. I don't think so. Based on these numbers, I don't think we're gonna we're going to be able to uh, do that. But we'll see. We'll see. So we'll check in in uh, Tremblant. So we have made it to Mont Tremblant, Quebec. Actually, we're just outside the uh, saint jovid village and like the Alpine village by the ski hill. Uh, quite snowy up here. I'd say it's about minus 10 with the wind. The car says minus five. It's a bit colder than that. I was gonna film this with my hoodie, but it was just a bit too cold. So I put the big parka on. At Starbucks now, just getting a drink. Car performed brilliantly up here on the run from uh, Hawkesbury up to 323 to here in Tremblant. The road wasn't the greatest. There was this school bus for like the last 10 kilometers that kept getting stuck at the top of hills. That was pretty annoying. And he refused to pull over to, to let people pass. But yeah, no real issues with the car. I'd say the only holdup was traffic. That was maybe going a bit too slow for my taste. But then again, I can't blame them. The roads are bad, but zero issues with this car. Absolutely phenomenal to uh, drive in the uh, snow you don't really notice it's rear wheel drive as i mentioned there's a couple sections where maybe you have to get a run going up the hill but uh yeah that's pretty much it nothing else to report for now on the uh, car sorry if my uh, face keeps popping out it's pretty cold my hands are getting cold we'll go back in the car and uh, we'll go over what's coming up next I couldn't initiate a charge at three empty stalls while two were broken. Maybe someone crashed or 